Hello and welcome to the Java Web Programming course from caveofprogramming.com. In this course of more than 50 self-contained tutorials, we're going to look at how to create dynamic, powerful websites using Java. And we're going to be looking at core technologies like servlets, um, Java server pages, JSPs, and um, JSTL. Um, so in this course, we're going to look at creating dynamic websites. We're going to look at how you actually make websites do stuff using Java. And along the way, we're going to look at things like um, sending email from Java. Um, we're going to look at connecting to databases. And um, we're going to look at how you can deploy web applications for free uh, on the internet. Um, we're going to look at forms for gathering user information. And uh, we're going to build a, um, a login form, and we're also going to build a simple example website that lets you um, rank pictures. So um, the stuff we're going to cover in this um, course, um, it's not going to be about web design. Um, so I'm not going to show you how to make pretty websites, and we're not going to cover um, really in any depth anyway. We're not going to cover HTML or CSS or JavaScript or any of these client technologies. What we're going to look at are some skills that are massively in demand in the marketplace and that are absolutely vital if you want to create websites that really actually do stuff. Um, so we're going to look at um, how to take Java, basically, and use it as a server technology and create websites with it. And these skills um, will not only allow you to create your own websites, especially if you're working with a web designer, but they're also um, hugely in demand in the marketplace and you can get a job pretty much any, anywhere in the world if you have these skills and you know them well. Um, so uh, we're going to be looking at, as I say, the standard core technologies, servlets and JSPs that are used um, to create websites in Java. And there are going to be a few prerequisites for the course. Uh, so if you, if you like being dropped in at the deep end, then certainly you could try to follow the course with no um, prior knowledge. But it's really going to help hugely if you know at least basic Java. And if you don't know basic Java, um, check out the free tutorial series on uh, Java for Beginners from caveofprogramming.com. And uh, it will also help if you know um, some basic HTML and uh, some basic SQL, although the main thing is that you should know some Java if possible. Now the first few videos from this course are going to be absolutely free. I'm going to show you how to go from um, creating your first um, servlet all the way to deploying your, um, your site um, either in Tomcat on a local server or uh, actually on the internet absolutely for free. Um, the whole course uh, is available for a modest fee and uh, you can find details about that on caveofprogramming.com. So um, I hope you'll join me for the rest of the course, um, or certainly the next video, when we're going to look at installing the free industry standard software that you'll need to begin developing servlets uh, and JSPs. And so we're going to look at how to install uh, Eclipse and what kind of um, what kind of things you'll need to get started with web development in Java. So uh, join me again next time and you can find full details about this course on caveofprogramming.com and until then, happy coding.